all right so we have learned so much so far congratulations you are almost almost there i promise we are almost there so now we can look at in this lesson i'm going to show you how you can group the questions okay you can group the questions okay so how do you do that so this group options for now i think it's only applicable to those that are using uh, computers mobile phones i've tried i was unable to but regardless it's not that necessary when you are collecting data so how do you group questions so you you hold on control so i'm holding on control and then uh, you hover hover over to the question that you want to group you select okay by clicking and then again you click so and then you click so if you pay attention you see these questions they now have this blue a blue outline so once you select those questions that you want to group you will come here where it says create a group so when i create a group you see these questions have been grouped so maybe i can say here demographics okay demographics okay and you can see the questions have been grouped and the good part is that i can collapse this group and it will gives me it will give me enough room to work okay so you can create that group and then you can do the same hold control for these other ones and then you continue clicking on the questions okay and then you say group and then you say um other maybe just others okay and you can even collapse either by clicking here you can collapse and then you can create groups of groups okay so i can just click this one and that one and then i can add this into one group again okay i can add this into another group main okay depending on okay so there are groups in groups and they, okay sorry i've and you can collapse this okay you can collapse this you see now you have enough room to work on the moment you just hover over to this one you can add another question now what's the relevance of creating groups you uh one of the most important thing in creating groups is that you can apply skip logic to a group of questions you can apply skip logic to a group of questions so that is it uh for this session looking forward now to the part that you've been waiting for, how do you actually deploy a form? Thank you. Bye-bye.